kings of consistency. Which camera's looking at me? Is it that one? That uh, the Star of Podcast. It's the one said that oh, we should stop talking about our fucking gear and did they? Complaining. I don't listen to I the Star of Podcast. So. Something so. like that. Cat, if Callum's listening, he, he'll remember. Fuck him. Mm. No, I agree. There's so so much of us always talk about how like something's not really quite working with. The, with well, the it's real. Out. People we're, don't really care. We're real. Yeah, it's true. It's real. Um, Who cares though? If anyone's watching this. Oh fuck's sake! Dom is drinking in the background. Yeah. Bloggy, we now have a camera on Bloggy. Oh yeah, that's Which true. Is awful. Yeah, right. he didn't realise until about thirty seconds before we started doing this, and now he's he quickly like put a hoodie on, put a hat on. He got really stressed about his appearance. So yeah, oh, this dog is gonna. He's he's he, he was like, oh, I see the red light's gone on. I'm gonna start moaning. Mm. Fucking dog. Why are we doing a podcast? Because <laughs> yeah. we're meant to do them every week and we I've haven't done... forgotten how to press three buttons, which is... Well, now you've, got the, now you've got the pressure if you've got to press one as you start speaking. Yeah. Was the, the last one with Rachel? Or Seneca. You Basically, no, you were Rachel also Seneca. there, though. Rachel and Seneca. Is it Seneca or just Sen? Seneca. Well, it's both, isn't it? Oh. Depending on if you're chummy. Like, are you KJ um, or Keelan? KJ, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, last one. Red bait, uh, fuck me. Yeah, it's been months. This is awful. Keelan was in America. So we had Rachel in, who killed it, to be fair. Yeah. Well, we did an episode with her. I think it was me, her, and Jordan. And then we did one with Sen, which was really good as well. So thank you, Rachel. Mm. And sorry about the gap. We don't really have many excuses. But we do kind of have excuses because we've been doing a lot of things. Yeah. Some of them in this building and therefore we don't have an excuse. Yeah, no. I think we probably should just do it more. Um but if people want Rachel to be on the podcast more to switch it up with me so I can have a break. What what do I not get a break? <laughs> no, you don't. Oh. You don't get a break. All right. You're a podcast man. Um yeah, go on thumbs up the video. It doesn't work like Yeah, that, but then all it? the like creepy pervs will be like, Oh Rachel. Yeah. Yeah. Although I feel like the type True. of people who would be like I don't know, the type of weirdos who were DMing Rachel before because we did that episode are also probably the type of people who'd immediately not like her because she shaved her head. Just, yeah, to, put true. Pe just to put people no, in boxes I, there. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I reckon so. The type of people who would DM saying like, I just can't remember the shit that they were sending her. Are I didn't exact... listen to it. Is it really bad? It just awful. some weird, weird shit. Are they definitely the same type of people to immediately be like, oh, are you a lesbian now or something? Oh, God. Um... So what are we talking about this episode? That's what I want to know, because yeah. I have no idea. Well, <laughs> didn't you nearly die? Well, well, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, so I wrote a list when I walked the dog a minute ago. I did nearly I've die. got Big Gap, Rachel host while Keelan was in America. How was America? Reading, Keelan died. Giles, other, other project. YouTubers now, stealing Stora's views. Lots of new collections, traveling again. Way, what so, a fucking episode. That's like the summary of a book. Now, if you like, you know, go on page 54 and you skip ahead to YouTubers now. Or We're not time coding this shit. No, fuck that. <laughs> not editing this stuff. No. Um, yeah, how was America? You went to Woodward for many, yeah. many moons. Me, me and Travis got invited to Woodward um, because getting us out of the UK to Woodward's expensive so they can only afford a couple of us. Yeah. Um, Travis fucked his ankle up really badly so he couldn't he couldn't join. But we did have George join us as well. But yeah, we, we basically flew out to New York for... Actually, I flew out to New York just by myself to meet up with Henry Blue and uh, Spiffy Hippie, Tyler, who does the graphics. What many, was the collection called? Many graphics. Um, we just called it Spring 22. Oh, really? Yeah. But he also did the Bloom t-shirt and he's got a... Basically, we, he's fucking very talented yeah. and also is very good at parkour as well. But yeah, Woodward was sick. New York was sick. New York was always... It, was it? Like this, oh, okay, yeah, actually, well, <laughs> let's, I don't, I just, I don't want to just no, the gloss over gloss this. Gloss over it. Um, you did three, almost did, three weeks I, at Woodward. We, I stayed at Woodward for far too long. Like New York was weird enough anyway, because I hadn't like I just finished Seoul, which was a fucking illness, and I'm happy that it's over. You went, you flew out the day I, after we released it. We released it, and I, yeah, I was flying the next day. All I wanted to do was just like. I don't know, Mom. not have, any, like, I know it sounds great, like, oh, fly to America and do stuff like that, which I'm glad I did. It's like just the stress of flying and traveling and then 
I'm like making videos while I'm I, out there. I, I got this sense that you definitely just wanted to like die in a hole for two weeks and instead it but was I like- I still wanted to come into the workshop and but do just that, like, but just not to try and like be like, okay, what's next? Let's refresh. Let's fucking not think about yeah. projects. And instead it was like, go to America and eat, and eat, eat E numbers for three oh, weeks. Oh yeah, yeah. But New York was, I finally got the chance to actually experience New York for what it is because um, I was staying there for a week and we've been there, I've been there twice with you. Yeah. And we've just like popped into Times Square at night or something. Done all that bullshit, yeah. Yeah, and it was like, yeah, okay, whatever. Um, you've but, never, I was about to say you've never been to New York, but you've never been to America, have you? I mean, yeah, no, like I'd love to. I've always seen flights like really cheap um, in the winter, but <laughs> never actually. Christmas. Christmas. Yes. You, wanted, you wanted to go away for Christmas? Yeah, yeah. go to New York. That would yeah. be cool. I really oh, wish yeah. Boggy was there. Mm, it would have been fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, uh, there is a video actually. When is this releasing? This will come out tomorrow. So the, yeah, there's a okay. video coming out on so Sunday. So this Sunday will be the New York and Woodward video, which is all right. Um, I really like it. Yeah, I'm happy that it's out it's, there. It's like have that, if anyone saw that one. Yeah, so, so it's less, that, less bloggy, more with, training. With Noah... Uh, North Street Boogie. I've forgotten his second name. Heath. Heath, yeah. Noah Heath, which is North Street Boogie, and then Ethan Rude or Rudd. I've not actually seen the video yet. I still don't know if it's Rude or Rudd, and I always like you don't want to say it. No. Oh, we can watch it after. Love it. Um, Noah threw down. Ethan was quite injured, but he did get like some clips. But Noah's very, very good, and I had fun. He helped film it as well. So also, that's is why it the videos like that? Is it Boogie or Boogie? Boogie, North Street Boogie. Boogie. Oh. I'd st I don't know. It's North Street Boogie. I'd say Boogie. North Street Boogie. I'd go out for a Boogie. I would say Boogie as well, but it's like effort, so I'd just say Boogie. Boogie, boogie makes me think of like, oh, you got yeah, a Boogie. boogie or Boogie <laughs> Man. Um, yeah, basically, we went to Woodward after that, after New York, um, and it was just me, George, Noah, and Ethan. And it was like great for the first week, but we stayed there for like nearly three weeks. Woodward is one of the greatest places on earth in small quantities. Also with a bigger group, I've realized. Like, yeah. it was really fun with the people we were with, but I've only ever been where like a lot of motors people were there. So like, you almost feel like just things are happening all the time. It's just a and lot. And yeah. also like kind of not a lot at the same time. And it's quite mm. repetitive. And the food is limited to like cafe food. Oh, um, I ate so much food. But like, sh you don't feel it's like shit it's food, but like, it's a really weird place because it sounds like we're being kind of like anti Woodward. <laughs> oh no, I, I like, I want to go back if we're like with more people. Yeah. I just remember getting this vet message from you, Keenan, where it was like IV and so much potassium. Like you'd already like- Oh no, it's sodium. Sodium, sodium, sodium yeah. yeah. So I'm eating so much sodium, man. I don't know what to do. Yeah. It's just like salt. It is great though. Like the place that we stay, which is the barn, which in the video coming out on Sunday, um, Ethan has like the end clip in the barn. And it's one of the grossest things I've it's ever seen. It's fucked, it's actually so fucked. But like that barn's really cool because all of the invited athletes, or are they athletes? I don't know, yeah. BMXs, skaters, and uh, scooter riders and things stay in the barn. And then you just get a chance to like mingle with them. And we were telling them a lot about parkour, which I just, I think it was nice. It feels like a very natural crossover place rather than like- Yeah. Trying. There's like a TV, a smart TV upstairs in the barn and like you could just show each other different videos from different sports. Yeah, I'm jealous things. of that because it used to be like fucking huge, like old TV and it was like, yeah. here's a VHS player. It was like, well, let's go play pool. Yeah, it was really good. And we had like movie nights as well with with uh, with people. But yeah, no, it was, it was good apart from just staying there for too long and I just wanted to be home. I, I was just thinking, I think it's a bit like, I mean, I've only been to like Disneyland once, but it's almost like going to like a theme park where it's very, very sensory. There's a lot to do but you couldn't imagine staying there for three weeks. Also, like, me and George were saying how we felt so much older compared to the last time. Like we went oh, to the really? water slide bit and we were standing in the queue and we're like, fucking hell, we just feel so out of place. Yeah, like, I've always not felt- not like before. I've always felt a bit weird um, doing the water slide. Yeah. And the parkour section at Woodward isn't necessarily the greatest. Um, the skate parks can be better for training. So like, yeah, I don't know. I feel like we're not going to get invited back now. Yeah. <laughs> well, Woodward's great, but that, yeah. Woodward's great. I think I just stayed there for too long. Yeah. Um, That's Woodward. So Keelan came back and then within days, we went to Reading Festival to go and see Rage Against Machine, who then promptly, days before, dropped out because the lead singer broke his leg and was replaced by 1975. And I'm still so salty about it. Like, I'm still really <laughs> sad. Um, yeah, but sad. we went to Reading. Bloggy came. Once again, talking about feeling old. Fucking hell. Oh, God. 
Yeah, that was. I don't think I could ever go you back. Get called fifty. Yeah, that was savage. I actually that kind of ruined my evening. Oh. We were sitting outside our tent, and these lads walked past, and I can't remember what I said to them. I was a bit drunk, and he went, "Oh, mate, you were like 50. and I literally got up from my chair and went back, and I lay in my little camp bed and was just like, "I'm going to kill myself." <laughs> it was so bad. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we went to Reading, but I booked it like a year ago, primarily because of Rage, and then they dropped out, so I was very sad. Lots of other good bands played. I used to go to Reading when I was about 16. I'm now 32. I felt like a fucking ancient. I felt so out of place. Yeah. And also, I didn't realize how popular ketamine was. Everyone, does, every, if you yeah. if you know a 15 year old, they're probably doing ketamine. Mm. It's insane. And like to contrast it, a load of our friends went to this other festival called Shambhala, which yeah. sounded what? yeah. So like Sam went to this thing called Shambhala, and it it sounded like very hippie heaven yeah it sounds but very nice hippie because like there was no rubbish there wasn't loads of shit people didn't have their tents set fire oh i don't mind that that's... like that happened we were like almost guarding our like yeah but that's part of the festival fun yeah i just don't want to feel old for that oh man i don't know i'm yeah, probably just, just being shit a wet sleep <laughs> but and also the shower situation was like actually not that bad but i just wasn't quite expecting it um what, at Reading? Yeah. yeah. So I was like, oh, the showers, they're free. I thought that was like, you could only pay for them because you paid for the, the posh showers, John. I paid for the posh showers. Did and you go in and then just turn around well, and I walked back in out? Now, I, and I walked straight back out because I was like, oh, great. I'm going to go for a shower like right now. Yeah. Went in and there was just like fucking 200 people just butt naked turning around all in sync, just looking at me. And I was like, I feel weird that like, I'm fully clothed. Join us. Yeah. And then I just, I went back at like six in the morning and it was great. <laughs> wow. I, yeah, I woke up every day and I spent, I think, 40 quid over the entire weekend. Like, if you spread it for a, a basically a, a, like a, a posh poo. It's so what, less than a tenner a day to have a poo in peace with no fecal matter and other stuff. It's fucking magnificent. Yeah, the uh, portaloos were absolutely fucked. Yeah. Yeah, the the, yeah. Was so music bad. was good. Um, people were interesting. Rachel came. Went on that fairground ride, got that amazing Instagram that clip. That was the highlight. That was sick. That was the highlight, that fairground ride that we went on. I mean, not the highlight. Oh, for me it was. Really? It was yeah. good music. Yeah, the music was pretty good as well. But a lot of money for a fairground ride. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> I just paid for that as well. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking loved it. it was um, great. But yeah, anyway, so we, we then, realistically, if we'd come back from Reading and everything had been fine, we probably would have done this podcast many moons ago. Yeah. But we... Got in the car on the way home, me and Keelan. Uh, oh no, you eventually made it. You were carrying a tent to Rachel's dad's. <laughs> yeah. I, for some reason, I thought you didn't come back with us. But I you made did. money from that. It was great. Yeah. Um, yeah. Loads of people left their tents, so we got lots of free shit, which is great. Lots, yeah. Lots. And lots. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Keelan was like, "Oh, I feel really hungover," and I was like, "Yeah, he looks really hungover because he stayed up really late, uh, drinking gin," and then dropped you back home, and then. Yeah, mate, I fucking died. <laughs> that evening he was like, I do not feel well. I need to go home to his parents. And I was yeah. like, yeah, he's be, you know, he's just being hang anxiety kind yeah. of thing. And then I'll let you carry on. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I, oh, fucking, I don't know. Yeah, I just thought I was hungover. And then I, I went back to my parents' house because I was like, fuck, I kind of feel that like anxiousness of being like, I need someone. Because otherwise I'm just with bloggy. I feel bad anyway. Being I tried like, to look after you, but it didn't work. Uh, you, you did a pretty good job, but I just felt like I could die in this bed because I felt... I yeah, because I swear fucking... that evening you started being like, I can't breathe properly. And I was yeah, like... My, ah. my chest started feeling really tight and I was like, I don't know if this is COVID or not. And I've had COVID before. Bloggy, can you just tuck in Darwin? Because he's moaning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> His bottom sorry. lips out. He literally just wants to be tucked in. I had that thing where you're... I, I had a fever anyway, but like I had the thing of you're in bed and I just kept having to like stretch my limbs as far out as possible because they just were aching fucking loads. And then... I think I did about one night at my parents' house, which I didn't sleep at all. And then my chest got even worse. Like I couldn't breathe if I wasn't like sat up. And then I we rang up, is it 111? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, it's the number. Yeah. Yeah. And I was talking to a doctor and I was just kind of explaining how I felt. And then she was like, right, okay, well, we should probably get an ambulance over to you. <laughs> Wait, then, if, they, if somebody said to me, like, and I was, you know, if I was in a car crash and somebody said the ambulance is coming, I'd probably be quite relieved. Yeah. But if I was in your situation, they were like, we need to get you to a hospital ASAP. Yeah. I'd be like, oh my God, I'm dying. Yeah, like, I did freak out a tiny bit, but then basically she said, actually an ambulance coming over there would take longer if unless like compared to you getting a lift from like a parent or something. Yeah. So then my mum took me to the hospital in, oh, they don't care. It's just a hospital near us. And uh, yeah, it's just, I fucking hate hospitals anyway. Yeah. And I'm sitting there. I got wheelchaired in. That's sick. It's, it sounds so stupid, but like I just couldn't. 
We couldn't move. breathe. Yeah, <laughs> I was just like, I, I mean, they obviously never diagnosed you with pneumonia, but it sounds to me like that, yeah, that sounds like My the most likely had thing. Pneumonia yeah. before, but because it can come on so quick. Yeah, and I just they put me into a room, and then I'd never been put on a drip before. They put me on a drip, and that like was giving me uh, fluid and also like I think paracetamol or something. Um, I stupidly looked at it like I don't oh, like needles in. too much. No, I didn't look at it going in, but I was so out of it. I thought it was just going in for a little bit. So then I was like looking at the wall and I was like, oh, I'll have a little look. And as soon as I looked at it, my mum said all of those, you know, like the sweat bubble things. Oh, yeah. Like the, when they come up as like they come really? out. Really? They instantly went and then I went white. And then I, <laughs> I felt so dumb, but I had to tell the like doctor person. I was like, I think I'm going to faint. Wow. Like, I, I don't know where I should be. I was, like, I was oh, sitting there. God. I didn't know if I'd like flop off the bed or like I've got a ne- like a needle in me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It hurt. Luckily, I just like concentrated on a wall and just like tried to breathe calmly. But that's just because yeah. I've never had that before. I think it's just that sensitive. Uh, uh, yeah, I've never really minded it. Wow. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's fucked. Anyway, it's funny yeah. Because I'm it. Sorry, you go. No, that, that was just it, really. I stayed there for quite a few hours. They gave me, they couldn't diagnose me with anything because it, the symptoms were still uh, kicking, in, yeah. kicking in. So like I, I was worse the next day still. And then I got better, but, but obviously they, it wasn't COVID, was it? Because they tested. They for that. tested for it. it wasn't COVID. They said they can definitely see I have an infection in my chest, which is lungs. Yeah. Um, but apart from that, they can't tell further like anything else. So they gave me a, a, like a, some antibiotics that could potentially work, which definitely gave me thrush. But <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so. But that, but they worked. That that, that was the moral. Yeah. The, there's no moral. I just got there's antibiotics. No breathing went, went or thrush, home, yeah. Took me so long to get back to normal. It was like a week, I think. Oh. You were just out for it. Yeah. So much happened in that time as well, which yeah. was such a shame. Like, because on our end, we went to Belgium. Understandably, you were ill and not oh, on your phone. That's why I missed so, out swings and other things. Yeah. Was so yeah. excited. And people were like, to. "Where's Keelan?" And I was like, "Yeah, he's like, he might not make it." And I showed, them the, I showed so, like one person the video of you on the IV and they just freaked out because <laughs> we got that right because who was it staying it was Robbie and Rachel were staying at our house yeah and it came through and we were all just like is he gonna die <laughs> like there was that moment no. and then obviously understandably because you were ill you weren't on your phone very much yeah and for ages we were just like what, yeah I remember what? Sam getting worried because he couldn't get a hold of you yeah because we were trying to go to that party and we were like you should come oh uh, yeah. yeah yeah noodle tech Fuck. You were just like, I can't see. <laughs> um, yeah, nasty. Yeah, but, I had a, okay. I had a, a, a can, cannula, I think they call it, where they put it in the back of your hand when I broke my wrist. Oh, that, what, so the needle goes there? Yeah, I don't and, think I and then they tape that. it to the back of your hand. Ooh. And when I, on the last day, I was like getting out of my hospital gown, but I still had it in, they needed to remove it. So they'd taken the wire out, but it was still connected. And my, my like gown, like half pulled it out when I was getting changed. And I was like, oh. Uh, <laughs> this like thing like, oh that's horrible really don't like that um but yeah so you did that swings and other things was fantastic we uploaded a video from that which was like the first video we put on the youtube channel for months and it mm-hmm. was just a short action thing that i knocked together in a couple of hours fun event, swings right? and other things looked amazing it's such a good gym it looked amazing yeah. N- nico and uh Gert and all the other guys they know how to put on a good Definitely. Well, they had to build a good gym, put on a good event, and yeah, it was very good. We got to see go more often. Yeah, got to see Camilla again as well. Haven't seen her in fucking forever because of COVID and her injury and things. So that was amazing. Um, and yeah, that was just a good, a good time. Drank too much as always. Met the karaoke. sixty. Met the karaoke. Met the sixty nine ers. Mm, those guys are cool. One of them likes to drink. Do they? Too much. Well, he had um. A little bit of a, a vomiting situation on the roof, actually. Yeah, so he, yeah they were, they were sleeping on the roof, and he, I think he threw up onto the neighbor's house, and then like just was dead the next day. Didn't see him once. Poor guy. <laughs> so, but no, very very good. Tim Champion was there. Ed was there. That was just like I haven't had, been to an event like that since, for like pre COVID, I think, where it just felt like you're in a room full of monsters. Mm. So it was really good. I'm hoping that we can do a motor jam in that gym. Yeah, we're going to. Like there oh, was it's happening. Nice. Yeah, although I was talking to Rachel today about the one that was proposed and she thinks we should delay it. Yeah, because yeah. of your gig. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, because then I, I it could be swings and other things for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to shoehorn in the shit that I've been doing because I have this written down. 
do it. So if anyone hasn't seen, um, on the old Visive production channel, which is now called Giles Motors, I basically, because I like talking so much and I just need to get attention and speak to a camera, I got frustrated that Keelan was in America and then got ill and I was like, you fucking pansy, like get better. So I started my own thing and it's better than this. Um, no, I... I mean, basically just came to the conclusion that I was going to take everything incredibly transparent because if you go and watch the video, it's like long. There's a few of them now. Motus has been in the tr in some bad places uh, and I wanted to kind of just take that public and then use that as kind of, well, I don't know. I just like that book, Show Your Work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it's we, we always talk about it and I was like, fuck it, I'm going to do it like it's now or never. And actually the response I've had has been incredibly, incredibly positive. Lots and lots of people I wouldn't expect to watch the videos are watching them and also lots of people I wouldn't expect to, uh, not wouldn't expect to resonate with the stuff that I've been talking about. Lots of other like parkour business owners are like, oh, I'm in this exact same situation. Like, well done for talking about it. And it's mm -hmm. like, hey, maybe you should as well so that we all know we're in the same situation rather than feeling really fucking alienated. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the idea that we're not helping each other as yeah. brands. Like we really should because we're we're all in this weird yeah. niche sport together. So And it's really hard for everyone. Yeah. But um, So is that the first time you've spoken about this new channel? Have you shared it on your Instagram yet? I pushed it a little bit. I haven't pushed it uh, crazy okay. hard. So it's on, it, what is it called? Giles Visive now? Or Giles Motus. Giles Motus, but it was Visive. It was the Visive production oh, channel. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So all the old Visive stuff's still on there. But because mm -hmm. a year or two, when Daisy was born, I'd already pre-recorded some of those videos that was like me trying to like, you know, talk business in like a... I know what I'm doing. Here's because I, I watch a lot of that content and I like the idea of like trying to teach yeah. younger people and people who are still coming up in the same way that we are. Did you delete uh, private those videos? I private because like, I way prefer if I don't oh, know I'm people fucking much prefer this. Your, I've watched nearly every single one of your videos and it's in podcast form, which is yeah, which is funny because I didn't think I needed to listen to you talk more. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, I, I am here and, and yeah, you, yeah, yeah. everything you say in the videos I've kind of already heard but it's nice to listen to it kind of condensed and also you're not in, uh, influenced by anyone else. You're just ramb rambling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but the videos are really great. They're just completely stripped back. He's sat in the deep work area. Just, I don't know. You're just, like, you're I'm talk, meant to film you're one you're today. About, I'm probably tomorrow actually. You're but, just talking about what's on your mind really. And right? I'm basically just talking about where Motus is and then also mm -hmm. what I want to do in the next year or so, which um, if you, like I said, if you want to get the full rundown, go and watch the videos. But mm. in a year's time just under now will be the 20th anniversary since jump london which was the probably the biggest catalyst in like spreading the the, the seed of parkour uh, around the uk and then consequently the, the world but i don't know why i even covered yeah um i found this on the web how did you find something <laughs> i burp <laughs> what did he find orbis group ty corton wow what? is that a person it's a, a website orbis group it's a so manor. It's a former manor house on the outskirts of Cardiff. Anyway, um, <laughs> okay. Jam London, twenty years. I have this grand vision that technically I've had for years, but now I'm actualizing it. And I've already put some of the things in place, but now I'm like accelerating everything. Uh, I want to release a documentary that looks back at the last twenty years of predominantly London parkour culture, but like UK parkour culture. That's not to exclude the world, but more like. Jump London was the stone that was cast in the pond, created that ripple. So I want to focus kind of there and then see where that ripple went. There is a much bigger project that should be made at some point in, you know, the next few decades that is looking at like the growth of parkour around the world. But I don't, th I think we need more time, if you know what I mean. Like if the Olympics is coming, if all of these other things might happen in the next couple of decades, it's like, we need to look at it from a broader perspective. But I want to do that. I want to release an action video. This is kind of the one that's almost the bigger stressor. Um, like I want a resurgent style, hard hitting, like this is a snapshot of where parkour is in the London scene right now. And I want all the big names involved. So if you're watching this, you know, people who are really good, hit me up. Um, all of this is in a discord, by the way, basically just head to that YouTube channel and you'll see. I also want to do a photo book that goes alongside the documentary that looks back at the history. Clothing collection is obvious. And was there one other thing? I think my training video was the only other thing. Ideally, yeah, so. given that I would have been training for 20 years, I feel like I should try and release something that's just me training. Oh, definitely. Um, but yeah, it's on YouTube. It's on podcast form. 
uh, some of the videos are focused on that stuff. Others are like, here's a snapshot of where Motus is at this current time. This is what we're doing to try and improve our situation. This is what's working. This is what's not. Some business stuff, some me rambling, etc. It's great, basically. Um, but I'm enjoying it. It's like therapy. It's great. Cheaper than therapy. Yeah. Not literally the name of one of the. I call ones. one cheaper than therapy. Yeah, because it was the first video where I felt a little bit mopey. Oh yeah. Because you guys fucked off to Brighton without me for like five days, and I just like sat on my own. And then we did our most viewed video yet. That the segue was incredible because <laughs> it's next on the list. Yeah. Stealing storage views. I um, I feel I, I'm already feeling a bit bad, but also not bad for it. I think they're doing alright. I think they're doing no, no, all they're right. doing alright, and we would never like. It never fuck them up, but it's just. What? We got it wasn't underhanded either. Like you, no, you, no, we you didn't. spoke to them beforehand, didn't you? Yeah, but that made it worse almost. Well, we I was <laughs> curious to know when their video was going to come out. Yeah, because I, I was like, okay, the events on the Sunday they upload on Monday, so they'll probably try and bang the video out on Monday. We Therefore, basically we should release our video at least on Tuesday. Yeah, or just or on monday as well we basically had the conversation of okay we're starting the youtube back up again we're gonna like keelan's not on soul he's here like he's gonna be mainly in charge of like the youtube content yeah let's get back on this oh there's a star event we may as well go and make a video and get it out as quickly as possible to kind of capitalize on we some always of the hype. do that though yeah if there's an event or something like you should get it out the video out as fast as possible, quickly as possible. hype dies otherwise but yeah that What's the video on now? It's like, is it 1.1 million yet? I don't know if it's 1.1, but because it, it, now that it's on one, it, you don't get the point until you hit 100. So it hasn't got another 100,000. Oh, okay. It's obviously slowed down. But yeah, it fucking, it popped. Um, yeah. So if anyone's watching this who freshly subscribed, because there's a couple of thousand of you, then hi. Yeah. Uh, and to everyone who's still around from originally, cheers. Oh, Bloggy's the nice one. I think it's, you know. It's because I put that thing on the- And I saw someone comment and I was like, yeah, good point. They were like, what about the, I, I, on the like community tab or whatever, I was like, thanks for all the new subscribers. And somebody went, what about the old subscribers? <laughs> <laughs> to you too. You know why you're here. Um, yeah, but that's our first video that hit a million on our channel. Yeah. And all we did was sit and watch and film. Yeah, we really didn't yeah. try that hard. No, I mean, obviously, I was, I was no, sprinting around did, like, got to get we, those we, angles. We kind of <laughs> did because we- We put in the effort, We lived yeah. through, through the cameras, you know, for that yeah. event, which is very different, but uh, I had fun doing to it. To be fair, given how busy it was, you even living not through the cameras, unless you're <laughs> taking part. We got like, a quite, quite good it was news incredible, though. though. But yeah. I was happy how that turned out. And like, I, I think it, uh, it took like a day or a, maybe two days to edit and then it was out and- Yeah, it was really nice. It gave, gave me some like good productive feelings. That nice was. snappy cuts and things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it was just interesting because like we assumed Star were gonna drop theirs on the Monday and then they didn't. And then I think because- We dropped ours, it on the Thursday though, I think, wasn't it? Maybe, yeah. Cause ours was like late. the first, there was another channel, some small channel that released like a video from the event, but it was kind of like one yeah. angle. I think because ours was the first like proper video and obviously there's a lot of Star Wars fan base looking for that video, we effectively we did tick use, that box. We put Star in the title, obviously. Yeah, of course. Um, and yeah, and then, lo but the crazy thing is it got on the home, the explore page or whatever, the home page of Google, yeah. uh, YouTube is. So we got so many randoms watching it, just being like, lots either of, like, this is amazing or this is fucking dumb. Yeah, lots of people so annoyed, mostly skaters as well, just were like, thinking that we're just trying to be like skaters. See, I don't think there were that many I don't think they were real, real skaters. skaters. No. Yeah. yeah, no, because there were people were who- posers, man. Yeah, there were people who skated yeah. and they were like, oh, I'm you know, a long time skater and they had a lot of respect. And then you got these like really weird comments oh and they're like, God, oh, man. Man. There, it's hard like racist comments, just, oops, but it had to be deleted. Yeah, it? a couple of racist ones. So yeah, weird. Weird. Like, a few, good few sexist ones as well. Awful. Um, oh I mean, that's, good. yeah. The that's thing, what you get, like that, that it, got a million so I there is a, i think there's a certain number and you don't necessarily get it if it's your own fan base so let's say star get a video and they get five hundred thousand views i think most of their fan base are like normal so to speak or like do you know what yeah I mean? i've looked i've looked on their videos and their like, comments so many positive but things. i think because we went on the explore page and we're, we're also we're smaller anyway we got so many fucking absolute nutcases yeah. writing stuff and just so like yeah, very strange. I had great fun because I was just sitting there in the evenings and I was like doing that thing that Craig does on his thing where he goes through and like goes on their profile, find something about them and just attacks back. <laughs> and I was like, I don't give a fuck. Like just yeah. went back at some of these people and I was kind of like testing my my comedic wit. <laughs> I found it fun anyway. Yeah, I'm glad you did that. But yeah, Star of Boys did a very, very, very good job with the event. Um, yeah. I really enjoyed it. My favorite bit actually was stuff. the after party going in. I, I was... 
on my phone outside the toilet. I think I was like messaging Sarah or something and uh, upstairs and Callum just came out of this room and I was like, what, what's in there? And he was like, oh, it's just a room. And I was like, what? what? Cause he just came out of this random room. And he was like, oh, go in. And the star had their own little like production room. And actually they were just like sweating and grafting like that whole evening. Everyone else was drinking downstairs and yeah. they're like, they've got Jasmina up there like stressing, trying to get like the prizes <laughs> sorted and things. And I was like, this is sick. Cause like they're working yeah. really hard on this. Like, that is true. Like people don't see that side of the Yeah, yeah. It would have been really easy. Well, not easy, but like you'd almost expect them just to be like having beers downstairs, but actually they were putting in work like yeah. still. So you have to rate it. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I've opened up my Notion list instead. No one cares about that. Nice. Um, but yeah, YouTube, I think is looking like it's in a good place. Obviously it's early days and we've got to keep it consistent. And as you've seen from this podcast. Oh, we've never been consistent, <laughs> have we? It's not possible. No. But we try. We're yeah. trying harder than ever, probably. I really, I don't know what that, our latest video is on, but I really liked those days and that video. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. The fish, it, fish like, head one. We are going down that route. Um, but the good thing is like when the time's right, videos like have that and just parkour videos will come out. When you say um, that route, do you mean clickbait? Yeah, like, cause it's not, I, it's not really clickbait now, I suppose. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're gonna try. Um, I don't think we're- I don't want to try and like, we've got some ideas in our head of like fun, like challenge -y videos, but yeah. most importantly, we just want to get out and train more. That is, and if we're training, like it's, I feel like it's- Just capture it. Yeah, oh, that's- Someone just dropped dead upstairs. Probably. <laughs> oh God, hopefully. That's the most important thing I think is that after those days of training, we all- We all felt better just, but we were all like, oh, it didn't feel like effort to film a video. It was, it was no, just it was nice. fun. It was fun. Yeah. Like, uh, and it wasn't too vloggy either. No. I think, yeah, I can get too much. But like, we're kind of just taking it as it comes now. Cause I, I'm definitely one for overthinking, like planning of videos. Well, and that's really Keelan. nice and refreshing just to like go out now and not really think too hard and just go, all right, I just want to train and film it. Whether it's vloggy or whether it's not like videos are coming out every week. And yeah. then the video projects that we'll think about will happen later down the line. Yeah, you know? and as Keelan kind of pointed out to us a while ago, is that like in there's been times where like he's essentially gone out on his own with other people to film a video, and then that's happened a few weeks in a row, and then he kind of like feels like fuck. I'm just like, yeah, it's just, just not it's fun. like a graft to like it's all on me. Whereas when we go out and we're all sharing the responsibility, as yeah. much as you're taking charge on the edits, but yeah, it's that's like, fine though. Um, we're all sharing the responsibility, so it doesn't feel like there's that pressure. That's all I've wanted. I just want like. A th at least three of us, which is three of us here, to go out with the exact same effort of making a video and everyone filming and everyone. It's fucking useful. Stuff. He's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, man. Because we were like, oh, he's cool at sewing. That'll do. What? Yeah, we never knew how good blog he was. I could just really. do descents. Yeah, that's, that's true. Your shit, everything. Yeah, else. but like, I'm, I'm no, so I'm scared of everything else. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's how how are you scared of everything else? Yet you can do like five story descents yeah. rapid. My, I, I got. I like my arms. Like I can. T what, um, uh, I can, <laughs> I can <laughs> hold on to things and that's fine. But you've got to let go. <clears throat> yeah, let but go. your feet touching by that point. It's mm -hmm. like, um, are they are they the only ones you like? The uh, feet? Have, like, have you done droppy droppy ones? Yeah, yeah you've I've done. done droppy, droppy you've done some droppy. Yeah, ones. he has done droppy yeah. droppy ones. Um, I think he's like without trying to big you up too much. Like, uh, there's obviously a lot of people who did who do descents. But after seeing the one you did in Brighton, which is only two levels of dropping, you know the one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Right? just how quickly he managed to commit to going around the yeah. like, turn vault. But like, I think you're up there with like the best that do descents. I but that, the other, don't make his head explode. Yeah, don't do that. Look at him. Do. I can't run. You remember that? that we made, uh, not made, but where we were just in the like, day. You don't I, like, like run. Nearly shinned that wall savagely because I just couldn't commit to running. Nice. That was funny. I got all sweaty in my palms. Oh, on the Grand Prix. Yeah. Now that's kind of standard for that style. Oh, of Oh, that, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. acceptable. You did it after. Well, anyway, it's, anyway, we're not gonna, you're, we're you're not gonna... a shit athlete. You, Thank it's you. fine. It's but... more like you just you're like the when you did the descent and then in the turn vault and you're like four stories up or three stories. The t doing a turn vault that quickly at that height on a rail is like just terrifying to me. The one in the new video as well as in the one we all filmed. It's that's not, what I mean. That one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's so hard to tell, but it's not one of those normal descents, which is just drop, drop. Like it has that horrible bit of concrete overlap. Mm. Oh, I don't know if that's the best way of just, yeah, I don't drop. know if that's the best way of describing they it. They just make me so When like, you watch the clip of him doing it, only what, when he drops, only one hand is using the rail as yeah, a grab yeah, yeah. and the other one just is placed on top of the concrete, which is safe, but it's like a lot scarier. 
like um, I have I have that overactive mind at the best of times with regards to like I look at a challenge and my head while I'm going like oh I really want to do this there is a voice in my head going like well this could go wrong you could smash your teeth you could do this yeah with the sense it's like horrible. that times a thousand it's just like you're a height if you fuck up <laughs> once you're dead like yeah. which is great I, I guess that's my survival instinct but we've just got to train more because. <laughs> But they're that also work. descents. I'm like, I don't need. They're not not, saying, not specifically for descents, but just in general. Oh I, yeah, yeah. I have that even for a Kong Prix. I'm like, well, I could hit my knees or I could do this. Yeah. And the more you train, the less like those thoughts. And the come more up. you think about those things, the more likely they'll. It's all about the glove, man. It's like analogy. I hate, I hate time that. Time and time again, I just love it. Your the recent things that make me sick about Bloggy are his burping, coughing, and him saying it's about the glove or like a glove. No, it's all about the glove, man. It's all about the glove, man. Context, like, so basically, when I talk about, like... Put your mouth back close When to I the talk mic. about parkour, I think of it like you. your hand is your, like, you, and then the glove is your body and how well you kind of fit into that. And, like, the more you train, the more it fits and the more kind of, you know, your, your touch is better. All of these sound a bit kind of weird. Well, no, just no, like, it, but why I, a glove? Like, it, gloves, like, you got five fingers, it's all like... And is it like a leather glove? Well, I guess it, no, yeah. Like a Michael Okay, the spandex. shoe fits. The shoe fits and it fits you know when you get a oh man nah shoe it's, fits is I've different i've broken the analogy in my brain now because nah, it's a bad like, analogy it makes when sense training works and it feels good you're in the Have flow you, know, you never heard flow. like a glove yeah yeah i've heard like, like a, glove a glove when ace ventura is parking a car <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> Like that's so funny. That's if if somebody said, "Oh, Ace Ventura is parking a car." If somebody yeah. said, "Oh, I'm in the zone," or I, "Oh, I've, I'm in the flow," I think he's more on about like just how your body feels, probably in the zone. No, because your body doesn't get in the zone. That's yeah, your mind. No, it's fully, no, it's fully like a surely. Yeah, mind I, mind body connection, bro. Yeah, yeah but exactly. glove just makes me. It sounds as you said a bit weird. It's become weird. I can imagine you sliding something on and like a late, like late, latex leather. I was going to imagine What's like a spandex? cartoon like Mickey a Mouse spandex. glove. I don't know. What, like a Mickey Mouse glove? Yeah, as a cartoonish thing, you know, it's not like real. It's all kind of, oh, let's can move we move on, on please? Move I don't on. want to. Humiliation. I want to get to the bottom <laughs> of this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, here's a thing for the comments. Anyone who actually leaves comments. Okay. Um, I have obviously, actually, I think this kind of started when Keelan was away. I started a uh, exp- post. Post. I'll go do it. Sorry. Post to get, post to give. I think my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just hear a dog bark that was? Is it the though? shoes? Yeah. Oh yeah. Do an unboxing, do let's an go. Unboxing. Keelan's, Keelan's unboxing. got new shoes. <laughs> Is that if, really annoying? No, if anyone's watched um, Keelan's, oh the bloggy, can you just make sure that door's closed? It is. Is it closed, closed? Yep. Because obviously if it's open a little bit, Darwin will burst out. Yeah. For noise. Oh, here. All right, Keelan's opening shoes. Entertain them while I'm away. Oh, camera's on Keelan, oh God. The camera's on Keelan, oh. oh right, yeah. Hi, people. Camera one. Boop. Keelan has now ordered three pairs of shoes. All right, now listen here, Stora. You might not want to give these away because everyone might buy them and they look sick. Uh, I don't give a shit. Happened before. Him, I so really like the look of these shoes. Um, oh, did you so, know when he ordered them? Huh? No, I just know what they are. Oh. Do I you mean, not? Do you not? No, I, I showed him off the brand. Him picture. That's it. Oh. No, it's not that amazing. It's just a shoe I haven't tried before. But I bought a pair of uh, F22s, which are some Adidas like running shoes. Literally there. sounds like a fighter jet. F22. Yeah. But they, uh, they looked very good and a lot of the stars really liked them. And I wanted to try a pair and I found a pair on Depop. They just exploded off my feet and they felt like they were falling off. I've never seen shoes come off that quickly. Also, when I wore you them- You wore them and it had the same thing. It felt like they were gonna fall off my feet, um, yeah. I think we might just have different feet <laughs> to- Well, like, other we have heels. Where I, does Stora not have heels? Probably not. Well, they have heels. I think that's what it is. You guys have very little heels. Mate, Maybe they come off. It just felt like I had that much yeah. depth in the back of the shoe. Which is a shame because I just, apart from them being very blue, which I would have dyed them, I quite like the look of them. Yeah. And they're a different shoe to what I'd get. So I basically have no shoes now and I wanted to order something else. So look, this feels very- We did get some other shoes, but they had the same problem. Galaxies, right? Yeah, I got a pair of Galaxies and they were kind of sliding off as well. And what are these? These are Lakai. Lakai. Um, Is that how you pronounce it? Lakai. Lakai, yeah. Oh. They're well, how would you called, pronounce it? I, I, th I thought it was like Lakey or Lakey. No, Lakai. No, Lakai looks right I mean, to me. Yeah, cool. Um, sorry, this is very annoying, all this. Do it as an AC ASMR the like thing, you take the, the thing off. is, I wanted to funny enough, I wanted to get away from skate shoes, but I'm still buying. I mean these skate shoes. look they're quite hard at the moment. Really? 
yeah. these look very similar to a 3MC. Like they they look like the closest shoe to a 3MC, but they're slightly yeah. thicker, maybe. They are slightly thicker. They Ooh, um, I, I see what you mean. They're like a nice. Yeah, for not being broken in yet. That oh, I one. don't feel like they're as squishy as I thought they'd be. I don't do. want to like wipe out the cameras. Um, I have no idea what these <laughs> are going to be like. Everybody. Oh shit! Sorry for the people who are just listening to this. This is boring as fuck. Yeah, we're looking at shoes. Um, well, that's it. why you should watch. Yeah, Ooh, basically, got that coating on them. They have what they're like. Yeah, you got to like grind that train down. And, it's okay. got like, kind of like oily bit. It has like the honeycomb sole, which right. the 3MC had, which I really liked. Apart from this, it has like, it's a bit deeper, so it might be shit. That might come out, look, these treads. Maybe. Whatever. Um, I wanted to get away from wearing skate shoes because I I don't know. In my head, I was like, I don't skateboard and it's becoming a bit of a... <laughs> so you bought some skate shoes? Things. Yeah, I just went back to them because they're like uh, the best I mean, if for it, my if it works for my feet, they're the best. Anyway, moving on for fucking shoes. They look sick, and they've got the elastic uh, ankle things, so like <laughs> the tongue. Yeah, I like the look of them. Like they oh, look yeah. s- like snuggish. You, you wait for you wait for everyone to start wearing them now. Them them. Well, they might be shit, so they we never know. Yeah, but you're an influencer. I influence people. Yeah, like there's DCs that everyone was asking you to. There's a pair of shoes, a Converse pair of shoes that I tried on, and they're Hudson's. Funny enough, me and Hudson have the same size feet. He's got fucking wham feet. Hudson yeah. has the same size feet as us. I think he's got size eight and I'm size eight. He's tiny. Oh my God. God. I'm, I might be a 7.5. Anyway, um, they're called Converse Checkpoint Pros. And they I wore them in Sweden for the Kipper Jam. Yeah. And they were the best shoes personally I've had for parkour, but I couldn't find a pair online. Oh. But they're really good. Interesting. Um, anyway. Yeah, it's funny because the amount of comments I occasionally see where like, People are like, well, oh, what are those DCs? And they yeah, honestly, I if you- I have to reply to all of them saying they're shit. If you see them. those DCs in person, you would be like, why is he wearing them for parkour? Like the fact, because I had no other shoes to yeah. wear. Yeah, um, we, we, I put, I said this in the last video and you cut it out and you can't cut this out of the podcast. So anyone who owns a shoe company, Farang, uh, oh, yeah. Strike, etc., send Keenan some shoes. Because I said it on the camera and he didn't put it in the edit because he doesn't want free stuff. How do they feel? Do they feel like a glove? They're quite hard. Yeah, they are quite hard right now, mm. but we'll see. Oh, mm. do you want this one? Okay. Yeah, check us. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Sorry. We're about to I just smash the glass there. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Um, while Keelan's trying on them. So what I was doing while Keelan was in America was spending a bit too much time with Bloggy. And I just started I'm sharing sorry. some of his quirks on Instagram. Personally, I think a lot of people loved it. He thinks a lot of people think he's a weirdo. <clears throat> I want to hear the verdict. Basically, Bloggy is hilarious without meaning to be. He's also hilarious anyway, but he's, I think you think that people think you're like a showboating muscle ba- muscle bound Tory, but actually that's a persona that you put on. And I'm trying to, exp- I don't know what I'm trying to- I don't to- put that on. <laughs> no, no, how I am. <laughs> very, oca- very occasion you put it on, very occasion you put it on. <clears throat> but like, you know, when you're flexing in the mirror and flexing to me, Oh yeah, that's just pissing about. That's you pissing about, and I share that, and then I think you think people think that's real, but I think people know that's a joke. Well, didn't didn't Drew say to someone they would? He had to like check, like, is, is he actually like what that? Was yeah, yeah. I think he asked us, like, is that actually how he is? You know, <laughs> is that is that real? Is is Bloggy a bit, <laughs> is a, bit a bit like that? <laughs> the answer is no. But well, also, but also that yes, like that. also yes. Mm. I think you're fun. 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 Um, all right, what I actually have written down is we have a lot of new little collaborations coming out soon. Uh, basically what we, we spent a couple of months kind of just like getting a lot of stuff out in house, um, bolstering our, if you go and watch the video, I was, it, like the videos on my channel, I, I talk about this in a bit more depth, but bolstering our kind of collection and how much stuff we offer. Um, but what our big focus is and what we really want to be doing is collaborating with more artists like Spiffy Hippie and people like this. And we've already put a lot of these wheels in motion. Um, and what we want to move toward or what we are moving towards is sort of frequent releases, but smaller conceptual collaborations with creatives, whether that is like a motors athlete, like, you know, Camilla, or there's even something we've been talking about with Travis or, um, you know, Piffy Hippie or we've we've basically got a load of other stuff. As well as photographers as well that I'm working with. Yeah, Bloggy's been setting a load of stuff up with some photographers. Um, So yeah, that's kind of the future next few months and also just where we want to go with the brand. 
when it comes to, I would say, a good portion of what we're doing, there's still all the stuff we've been working on with Bloggy that's like- Yeah, can we go into that a little bit in a minute? Yeah? Yeah. Well, how, what do you want to- what, I mean, I'm just- like, How do you want to dive into the glove? Well, what finger do you, me, want to, what finger like, do you start with? This is the first time seeing anything that I've like designed be actually made or at least sampled with a factory. Yeah. And just also for you guys, apparently these are the best samples from the first get go that you've had, right? Yeah, Whether I mean, I'd be, be I'd be very surprised if they weren't, given that we had you making them. So. I mean, from the sounds of like you've had problems before, and hopefully it's a mixture of you know it being done. Me, to me a, being a moron. Well, well, that and also just factories <laughs> not understanding what we mean. So it's the communication thing. But yeah. I'm really, really excited for at least some of these pieces that are are ready to go to to begin begin release or begin production, and then also some other things that we've been working on that just need a few tweaks. Um, yeah. Still, we wanted to test some things in Oslo this week, but we can't because of there's a holiday in China right now, which makes, basically means that, you know, it's always a holiday in China. It's always a holiday. I but think it's an excuse that factories use occasionally. They're like, oh, we're on. Yeah, but I think we should probably understand that their calendar is different to ours. Oh no, it is. Yeah, I mean, they just have a lot of holidays though. Yeah, yeah. More more holidays than we have bank holidays. I feel. Do they? They just like to take like a week off and go party. Do some bits. I mean, like, they work crazy, like a lot anyway. So I kind of don't blame them. To be honest. Um, but yeah, so no, no exact timelines for kind of any of this stuff. Some of it's going to come out sooner rather than later. Bloggy stuff is still in the sort of the the distance compared to some of this collaboration Not stuff. Only, but yeah, um, my favorite, I or my my favorite annoyance, I would maybe call it, is when people go, I don't know, we release a fucking T-shirt that's essentially printed on a blank and people are like, oh, bloggy, this print, this is amazing. <laughs> it's like, this isn't what he's done. <laughs> Give it time. Yeah. So I mean, it... I've done some graphics, like granted when I first started. But I mean, in terms of like the pr people, people make the confusion because obviously you've been here for yeah. a while now that, that the product we're dropping are your creations, but you'll know when they are because the quality is going to go through the fucking roof. And also what we talk about with regards to the products is going to change massively. Yeah, I mean, we'll have a lot more substance as well because they'll be engineered from the ground up. Yeah. Like every single element is thought about and considered. So hopefully that makes for a better product that people are more willing to part their hard earned cash. With. Yeah, if you want to give us some money, as in if you want to buy stuff to actually help us survive. Buy food. Like that's literally it, it's food. Yeah. Please do. Um, Rice is nice. Yeah, rice is nice, but like more than rice is better. So. Rice is nice, but more is better. <laughs> so how how are the shoes motives. now that you just... I've just got one on. Yeah, they feel right. <laughs> just the one. Just feel all right. Feel all right, yeah. Uh, I don't know how to judge it at the moment. So they're, you're going they're not a 3MC, but you know. Interesting. You're we'll, going we'll see after Oslo, won't we? Yeah, you're going to Oslo tonight. Yeah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, we're flying for the Osmo, Osmo, <laughs> Oslo Movement Gathering. Is that yeah, what OMG. OMG, which is run by Ansel, and I think it's going to be very good. And I'm flying out on Friday. I'm filming the official video because I keep looking at your monitor. That's in. I can see your face on the back of that camera. Oh, can you? Yeah, it's really yeah, throwing me off. I'm even looking at that. Oh. I'm even looking Ooh. at that old bloggy. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm flying out on Friday filming the official video. Haven't filmed an event video in a while, so I don't know why Ansel has asked me to do it, but I'm flattered all the same. I think it'll be good. Uh, but yeah, it should be good. Robbie's going, Rachel's going, Jordan's going, obviously. Camilla's going. Camilla's going. Loads of people are going. It's a fucking big stack lineup. Big bunch. So, and I think we're just generally traveling more again. Mm. My time is obviously slightly more limited than you guys, but uh, it's nice to know that things are just, pe yeah, events are happening and people are going rather than the last two years of just like sitting on our ass. Mm. Yep. Like all so, up, I think that's public now that that's all occurring, isn't it? I think so. I mean, there's I, an Instagram page. With yeah, the but then the message I get, it sounds like it's still being sorted. But yeah, there's an all up. Maybe it's not public. I don't the, know. There's a public jam page online. Okay. Unless, uh, uh, there's uh, apparently a jam happening on all up. Which yep. sounds really good. Yeah, because so, the gym is getting closed down. Changed. But shut for a while. Oh, uh, right. Okay. Because they're cutting it in half, apparently. Um, yeah. So... so. And I've never been, so I'm I'm stoked. I'm yeah. really stoked. Sorry, I'm just looking at the Instagram page. Yeah, yeah. okay, it's it's a thing. All right, Jam, Denmark, yeah. be there or exactly. don't be there. Yeah, um, don't be now too. Yeah. Now yes. what? <laughs> More on the list. <laughs> that that was my list. My list oh, is nice. finished. Right. Well, I mean, we can have a music. Short and sweet. Music. We can talk about what, music. Oh, you can talk, can I go? 
if you want. No, I actually quite like the music. Straight game. from the path, we're going to but two you gigs. Can still talk about music if you want. Yeah. Gig, gig, watch. Uh, London sold out, but Brighton straight from the path later this month. Be there or don't be there. Yeah. And Keelan are going. Jordan's hopefully going if he can get there. If not, London, but that sold out, so you can't come to that one. Uh, oh, we went to Polaris the other night and we spent the entire gig sitting down just behind the disabled section and it was fantastic. I don't care. I loved it. Keelan fucked up his knees when his shoes fell off and his feet. True. And we just happened to find some seats at a venue that you wouldn't expect to have seats. Even if my knees weren't hurting, I would have probably done that. And we actually. sat for a metal concert and watched the entire three acts of just like very heavy music and it was fantastic. Sitting down drinking. And Bloggy sat in a car park and watched a film on his phone. That is, <laughs> oh my God, he did. He sat in the corner of a car park. <laughs> For the whole gig in the dark in London, just There's watching a film. It. Um, you masturbated. No, God no. <laughs> so basically, oh um, yeah, you did that thing with your cousin. Oh, I don't say it like that. No, um, we were in Brixton training. It was good, and then I went to go and see some family because I hadn't seen my cousin in like months and months and months, which was nice. Whatever, family, blah, work, whatever. Um, <laughs> and I was trying to get some tickets to get into the event as well to see if I could like watch as well but the guy was like yeah no sorry and there was no one outside selling illegal tickets so i had a nice little wander around brixton which was quite strange there's a lot of people just hanging around but i guess i was doing that so <laughs> yeah whatever maybe you could uh, start a club yeah i just i found a tesco car park which looked all right <laughs> and I, I i put on a body warmer and i watched a film that i had downloaded on my phone and it was actually all right i didn't get cold it was comfy it's like you know what's the difference of hanging around at home or a Tesco car park in Brixton. Tesco car park in Brixton, yeah. 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 And it was fine. Yeah. Saw you guys later on. Had a little Mackey's. Had a McDonald's, room. stole a TV, and then went. Oh, yeah, got a TV. Yeah. That was great. Context, Um, that's that's going to make sense soon. Black Friday. I've, yeah, Black Friday. I've been doing a lot of work to this TV. I got covered in potentially harmful chemicals the other day. You say doing work. How, I mean, you just took it apart. Yeah, that was terrifying because you were like, people die if they touch the capacitors. And I was like, I might die if I don't. And I'm, I was Imagine like, I coming in own. and you're just like a fried blob on the floor. Yeah. And also I realized that there's some like messed up chemicals for like insulation dampeners and all that stuff. And some of the valves in there. For context, this TV is like 30 years yeah, old. It's like definitely, it's like a wooden box TV, yeah. big cathode ray, um, you know, CRT monitor type thing. Yeah. Big chunky boy. Um, and I need to figure out a way of taking the lens off so that we can do things with it. Nice. So if, anyone, if anyone actually knows how to do that, please help. DM. Uh, if anyone can see me, I'm twitching because I'm bursting for a piss. Same. I'm like, wrap up. Doing that, doing that little twitch. We we shiver. Should we wrap it up? Wrap yeah, it. I think so. 52 minutes. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah, we'll try and do more of these. I mean, obviously, we're going to be in Oslo for a week, uh, but maybe we'll do one when we get back. We need to get more guests on. I know... Dom. Shit. Got about that. <laughs> He wanted to come on, but he always wants to come on and he never does. So, well, our fault though, not his. It's his fault. Well, we have to message him. It's always the other person's fault, Bloggy. Okay. I'm sure Andrew Tate, your hero, has probably taught you that. Oh, God. I went on his website the other day. I've never been on it. It was interesting to say the least. Yeah. Probably shouldn't even mention his name on the podcast. What? Because it might get flagged. No, I just think it's probably the last person anyone should know about. It's just such a weird little... I never heard of him until you started talking about it. You don't know, do you? A weird little bug. Mate, you'd love it. It's like I've right. talked about him like I like him. Bloggy like, says you know, right up your street. You know those people who like... It, it, the audience, those people who are doing the whole Andrew Tate thing, promoting it, all of that. Bloggy. Oh, for... F <laughs> no, no, this is so damaging. <laughs> Oh. I, don't even, I don't even want to know. Yeah, yeah, I, think it, I, don't think like, I think he's like an Xbox or something and he just touts fucked up stuff misogynist on every bullshit and I think it wasn't his business plan that he pays people to be part of his uni to, to spread his no, no, no. you pay you pay uh, an amount to be part of his like money making course that obviously then makes him load the money right and I think you get access to like a discord but I think you then get up the ranks of it or some bullshit you get like better access if you like repost his stuff therefore spreading his message all over the internet and you're paying it to do it and in cell pyramid schemes yeah, it's like, it, yeah, an in-cell pyramid scheme. That's a good term. Oh. And you're at the fucking top. Thank you. <laughs> Bloggy hates me. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, why have we finished the podcast with this? Yeah. Anything else to say? Very worried about the shoes. Oh, oh no. no. That'd be right. Where are my carousels? Yeah, I probably would. Yeah, well, well, I, I haven't even stood, stood up in them. shop. Well, I Mine's actually, right wait, I can do this. Please. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Really good. If you can find them online, please tell me where you buy them from because I took ages to find these but these are actually really good the soles flat they look all right from the profile they weren't crazy expensive and they break in quite nicely 
They they were very good. I trained for one day in them and I really liked them, but I couldn't find a pair that would get hit before Oslo. So I got um, other shoes. Why are you worried about them? I don't know. Just worried about them. Oh. They're not they're not broken in, so like Yeah, true. I don't know what to expect. Yeah. Just go outside, scuff them up and then put them in the microwave as uh Kevin would suggest. Yes. Alright. Yep. Cool. Love you lots. Love you all. Subscribe, like, blah, blah, yeah, blah, blah. Do all blah, of that. Blah, buy some and stuff. And see you in Oslo if you're in Oslo. Bye. Bye. God, that was depressing, wasn't it? <laughs>